So the cargo plane released back in 2019 when Jailbreak was having probably the most difficult year it's ever had. The developers were hard at work at updating the game weekly while competing with other prison games. And the winter update was the only update that kind of saved Jailbreak from the horrible season 4 update that they did with just spoilers. And this cargo plane was honestly very cool. The only plane on Roblox that actually functioned so well. And honestly, that winter update was amazing. But now, five years later, it's time for the cargo plane plan to actually receive a revamp. With all the robberies in the game such as the oil rig and especially the casino being the best robbery in the entire game, Cargo Plane kinda just looks like the most low quality robbery in the entire game now. The Simo did talk about revamping the plane with NPCs and everything which would have been honestly very cool and I still think they should revamp the Cargo Plane. Of course they don't have anything planned for Jailbreak and they said that they would only be revamping things within the game and not really adding things which means that the Cargo Plane could definitely get a revamp for the winter update. Not only the cargo plane, but the bank truck as well. The bank truck and the cargo plane are two robberies that definitely need a rework because the bank truck is not really a robbery and it's probably definitely the most low quality robbery in the entire game and the plane model especially is a little bit outdated and it's definitely time for this robbery to get updated to something high quality like this or even changed into a passenger plane robbery which would be honestly very cool. A passenger plane robbery, a cargo plane robbery, a cargo train robbery, a passenger train robbery. I mean, it kind of makes sense, does it not? But right now, they need to definitely focus on revamping the plane. This robbery is honestly a very, very cool robbery and has a lot more potential to be the best, highest quality robbery in the entire game. The plane model is humongous and robbing a plane should have a lot more to do than just holding E on boxes. I mean, no one really comes to this robbery as well as it doesn't give as much cash. But as you can see, the details of this is insane and it actually looks like the GTA 5 plane as well. There's a lot of potential with this robbery to be one of the best robberies in the game and they could definitely involve the airport with it. Of course, the interior of the airport used to be something like this. No one really went in it because it, it didn't really have a purpose and eventually in 2022, Asimo removed the airport interior because, well, it didn't really have a use at all. No one went in it and there's nothing to do in it. And since a lot of people complain about lag, it only makes sense to remove it so that people can function way better. Only just coming out the plane with a crate with such a cool looking robbery and such a high quality plane system is just kind of sad and they probably do realize this by now and are probably revamping the plane as we speak. The winter update for this year may not be as big but at least we might get a revamped robbery. There also has been a lot of concepts of the airport revamp made by people. As you can see I'm turning my crate in and it only gave me 4,000 cash. 4,000 cash in jailbreak is honestly nothing and doesn't really do anything for you. I mean with 4,000 cash in jailbreak inflation you can like probably afford like four Camaros with it. I don't know any mags. But every other robbery has always given you a lot more than just 4,000. Now this airport could definitely be in use. Maybe you have to go inside the airport, wear the pilot's uniform. Once you do, that you get the keys or something. You fly the plane yourself and you have to land it at another airport to then be able to rob the other airport, something like that. Flying the plane, robbing the plane, and then flying the plane to another destination to get more money. How cool would that be, guy? Yeah! The plane robbery has a lot more potential than just holding E on a crate. The jewelry store right now is perfectly fine. So is the bank, so is the museum, and every other robbery as well, such as the oil rig and as the casino robbery in the game is actually the most perfect robbery and the best robbery till this date. As well as the train is pretty all right, but the cargo plane is honestly such a cool plane they honestly did have a big chance to actually redo it for the 2024 live event and they should have done it versus for some reason they did not do it and kind of hold it back because of the npcs thing and they thought it was a little bit too crazy to add npcs and make the robbery difficult but that's just what jailbreak robberies are nowadays and they honestly should have done it since the simo has teased it now they'll definitely probably revamp it if there is time. You see, they're actually working on another Batamo game right here and we don't really know when this game comes out. I personally thought they might release it this summer, but I guess they didn't. And because of this game, Jailbreak might be in trouble because... But before I do, quick question. Do you want to win some free UGC limited items and make Robux off of them? Potentially own some of the coolest Robux items on the platform. And this is something you can win. If you go inside Playside's brand new game called Playground, you'll be able to see that there are leaderboards over here and these leaderboards will indicate how good you are in the game. And the way to get these UGCs is by collecting stars. As you can see, there's a massive bear over there, 16 out of how many that says. And if you collect these stars right here, it'll count them over here.
here and go to the bear over there. As you can see, it says 19 and now it says 20 and 21. This map is also very cool. It's honestly one of the coolest games I have ever played on Roblox in a really long time. Like, as you can see, this world is actually so huge and amazing. Over here, I'm collecting more stars, but it's definitely worth it to get these limited items. No other Roblox developers have ever created something like this. And since it's a limited item, this will be one of the most high valued limited items out there in the marketplace on Roblox. And if you want to have a chance to win these UGC items, Playside will be doing a massive giveaway on these UGC items in their Discord server. So be sure to click the link in the description and join their Discord server, which will give you 200 stars in game, getting you even closer to more UGC items. And I will also be giving out some of these free UGC limited items to you guys. In a few days, I'll be streaming on my channel and giving out some codes. So come and join me for Playside's brand new game, Playground. It could release this during the winter or even next year. But if they decide to release this in winter, that may mean that we might not even really get a winter update. The max we could get is probably a season and a winter map. And that is it. All because of their brand new game. And it'll be our first ever winter update with nothing, which would not gonna lie, be a little bit depressing. Now me personally, as of course an OG jailbreak player, I would honestly be happy if we got a winter map, a new season and the cargo plane robbery. That alone would feel like such a 2019 winter update, but better. Like, I would not even complain if that's all we got, because that would just be perfect. But we don't know if the jailbreak developers are even motivated to do it. I mean, they even admitted that they are actually burnt out from updating, which is understandable. Updating the game for four years and doing things for it, it's actually very difficult and not something easy to do. They have been going very hard ever since 2020, and that's four years and also seven years of just constantly updating. And eventually, you get so burnt out that you just want to work on other things rather than the same thing for seven years. That's why they're working on brand new games such as Rocketeer, which they now left and are working on this new game, which because of this game, we may not get a winner update. Now, the bank truck released in 2020, and I'll be honest, as soon as I robbed it the first time i did not like it it was way too simplistic and easily became the most low quality robbery in the game but it does give you a lot of money but then when other burrow keys come on the truck you literally get like nothing especially when it's literally a war and a minecraft hunting ad competition with other criminals like it's just annoying and they definitely have to rethink the bank truck it does have potential maybe they can replace it with ai like a freaking npc you can actually make this truck drivable because a lot of police officers sometimes don't even actually actually drive the truck. It's not the most horrible concept, but it needs a lot of work. Or they should probably retire this robbery. They talked about retiring robberies in the past, and the bank truck seems like it would be the perfect robbery to just retire. Hardly anyone cares about it unless a cop actually wants to do something with it. Or once they revamp it, they can move it to the Crater City, which would give Crater City an even bigger purpose to actually go to. Do you think they'll do it this winter? Or is it truly over for winter updates?